So in the thyroid gland itself, thyroid hormone is made and there are two proteins sitting inside the thyroid that are responsible for making thyroid hormone. They're called thyroid peroxidase, which is abbreviated TPO, and thyroglobulin. And together, these will release and make T4 and T3. Now notice how T4 here is bolded and bigger than T3, and that's because, like we talked about before, the thyroid gland will make mostly T4, right? Now what happens from here is T4 then is released into the bloodstream from the thyroid gland. And you have uh, what I call free T4, right? That's what that little F is, free T4. And what that essentially means is that there's bound hormone in the blood and there's free hormone in the blood. And we're, that's gonna become important here in just a minute. And so I, I'm gonna try to slow down here because I know those of you who aren't scientists and those of you who don't love the chemistry aspects. This can get confusing, but it's very important that you at least understand the basics of thyroid physiology, okay? So hopefully you've got me so far. The thyroid makes T4 and T3. That is then released into the bloodstream, okay? Then free T4 goes into different organ tissues. So it flows through the blood, it passes through the kidney, it passes through the liver, it passes through the gut, and that's where the conversion from T4 to T3 happens, right? That's where that conversion happens, mostly in the kidney and liver, but about 20% happens in the digestive tract as well, which is important because the proper amount of good bacteria, probiotics in the gut can play a role in thyroid conversion, something that not a lot of people know and understand. However, as we said before, T4 can also be converted into reverse T3, which we really don't want a lot of that happening because if that happens, we're not going to get the thyroid effects. And then we see T3 and reverse T3 enter into the bloodstream again. And notice how T3 has that little F next to it. That means it's free T3. It's not bound to protein because most of the hormone that is floating around in the blood, most of the T4 and T3 is actually bound to a protein called thyroid binding globulin or TBG. All this is gonna to start to make sense to you in a minute when we start talking about blood labs. Now here's what's important to understand. Only the free T3 and free T4 are active. As long as T4 and T3 are bound to the TBG protein, they are not active. What happens from here is free T3 goes and positively stimulates cells for metabolism, fat burning and things like that, and reverse T3 blocks that conversion, right? So you can see now here that the most important aspects of this are the free T3 and, and free T4 numbers, how much reverse T3 we're making, and whether or not we're converting enough T4 into T3 for active metabolism. 